Boys and girls, cats and squirrels, I, in fact, don't believe that Double Tap 2.0 or 1.0 even is going to come to Black Ops 6. For some reason, it just doesn't feel right to me. Though I would love if it does. But because of that, I wanted to think up my own ideas of what could Double Tap look like if it did get introduced to the game? What are my thoughts? What, what are some ideas I have in case the devs do want to put it in the game and are just struggling on how to? So, if you enjoy, leave a like, sub, and comment down below. It's much appreciated. It makes you a goat. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get into it. So, if we take a look at Juggernaut, Stamina Up, Speed Cola, Deadshot, Quick Revive, Elemental, PhD, Melee Macchiato, any of these perks, you'll see that a lot of them have other perks built into them. Such as with Reactive Armor on Juggernaut, it's kind of like Widow's Wine, except I would argue worse. Hurdle Shell, it's like having a shield on your back, so maybe not a perk but an old, like, part of zombies history, I guess. And with Speed Cola, it, like, becomes old Speed Cola, which is, like, a weird way they do it, but it's the way it works. Quick Revive, it has Dying Wish. It has old Quick Revive. With PhD, it becomes PhD Slider instead of Flopper. And with Elemental Pop, it becomes Electric Cherry. So stuff like that, I feel, is very very feasible. I, I didn't create a ton of major augment ideas, but one of my major augment ideas, I think if they were to introduce double tap into the game, it should start as double tap 1.0, which means it only increases fire rate. I believe that with that, you can mess with how much speed you want to do it. Like when you first get it and then maybe make an augment so that increases the speed at which your weapon fires with a minor augment. I feel like that's that would fit it better than a major augment. I had a major at first, but I was like, eh, it feels just like well, if they start with 33% like they always did and then increase it to 50, that might be a major. Or they could like start it at a lower like 10 up to 33 where it normally starts as a minor. Something like that might make sense to me. Uh, but one of my major augments was seen as I think it's going to be, I think it would work best as double tap 1.0 being introduced. A major augment would very easily be double tap 2.0. I think that would be a really easy, really nice looked at augment to add. If they do in fact add double tap, I think they avoid making it too overpowered because you're adding like the options to change it. It's not double tap 2.0 with more because I feel like that would break the game really easily but having double tap 2.0 as an option and then having to weigh out oh well is this better than blah 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 or blah 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 I think that's very useful and so another one of my major augments going off the like reactive armor or like dying wish type of thing I think a custom perk that they could potentially add with double tap as a major augment would be Vigor Rush. I believe it makes your bullets explosive on impact or like semi-explosive. Uh, it basically just helps increase damage in a different way other than double tap 2.0. And I think that would be another good augment because they both increase damage. So you have to weigh, oh, do I want double tap 2.0 or do I want double tap with Vigor Rush? I think it's a good way to balance out which ones will be picked. And I think those would be two really good augments to have for the game. Obviously, if you don't know how the augment system works, uh, it, it, this doesn't make sense to you. I hope you're not this far in the video, but augments are how you make the perks better. Their base form are pretty trash, not gonna lie. Kind of like in Cold War, how the base form of every perk was relatively trash, and then you put augments on them and they become really good or you upgrade them with aether crystals and cool. so then i was like how do what what's a third possible major augment that i could do i have double tap 2.0 it just flatly doubles your damage essentially bigger rush which just adds like explosive damage on everything in some way or another it increases your damage as well what is something that could maybe potentially be used or at least be fun for like some sort of like try and break the game type of thing. 
So I thought, well, what if what if one of the major augments, I don't know what they'd call it, but what if it was weapons increase in damage over time as you get consecutive elims? So get one elimination, your damage increases at like a set percentage every elimination. So once you get the higher rounds, you can one shot all these zombies if you get through a full horde. The end of that horde will be really easy. And then if you flip onto an elite, you might even one tap them if you're using a good enough damage weapon. I think that would be really interesting. I also don't know how balanced that would be. And the issue also becomes, well, what if you're at low, you know, rounds? It feels like really useless on low rounds, in my opinion, because you're probably going to be one shotting or two shot in most enemies. And then once you're doing that, like, what's the point, I guess? You know, like, Deadshot gives you increased damage to armor. So you basically always have damage kill and dead first or dead head also increases critical damage. So Deadshot has kind of became double tap in a way where you're increasing your damage through this perk. But I think that would be something that would be interesting at the bare minimum to see what is the maximum amount of damage that we could have. Or if they just cap it, that would be kind of sucky. But like... It would be really interesting to see how people would mess with that, especially in like boss fights or something. You go into a boss fight versus patient 13. Can you like get rid of all the normal zombies with double tap as this major augment and then one tap the boss? Something like that would be phenomenal in my opinion as a fun way to do it. And I just don't know how balanced it could be. But... Then I was like, well, those are three major augments. Okay, let's talk about some minors. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Minor augments. Oh my gosh, that was a terrible phrasing by me. I'm sorry. What about some minor augments? So, I looked at Deadshot Daiquiri. Seeing as it does a lot of stuff for damage right now. You know, like, melee does melee damage. Um, Quick Revive Juggernog does some damage stuff. Quick Revive does... Oh, it doesn't, but Feeling Aura. Feeling Aura? Healing Aura has, like, a damage, like, upgrade. Yeah, player damage is slightly increased for a short time. So there's a lot of ways to increase your damage as is. But something that isn't in the game is collat, like, damage or stuff like that. I feel like a minor augment that would be really nice for especially sniper rifles and maybe even melees. You can make it so that melees hit multiple enemies at one time. Instead of just melee macchiato oh you can hit multiple enemies at once with triple shot well maybe you put that in a different perk and instead of the punch your melee just swipes across multiple enemies maybe it decreases your damage if it's for the melees i don't know but for weapons i would think like increase the bullet penetration because it feels like with snipers still that they do a lot of damage to one enemy they're still not that great against hordes although in this game they've made one of them a rocket and one of them a shotgun so they don't like when you pack punch them that is they're they're interesting to say the bare minimum but i think that would be a pretty interesting one like i said earlier another minor augment i was thinking of was like increasing fire rate more um then i was kind of stuck i didn't really know what to do like stamina up it feels like are all kind of redundant of the minor augments speed cola it it doesn't feel that important for these minor augments so i was thinking what is something i could do that doesn't break the game because it's a minor augment also but what is something that could potentially be useful like how swapping weapons fast it's useful but it's not like it breaks the game or mystery box settles faster it doesn't break the game but it's very it's a quality of life thing I was thinking maybe like decreasing the pack a punch price by a thousand. It, it associates with damage in some way or another. There's no perk right now that does anything with prices, I believe. There's potential that Vulture Aid is coming back or Meal Kick. Maybe they do something with prices like that. I don't know. Maybe they bring in a different specific perk that does price stuff. I also don't know. But I, I think. Maybe decrease it by a thousand or like first pack a punch is eh, maybe not free, but like half off, you know, something like that. That gets your damage up and running really fast. 
So instead of like double tap being there for your damage per se, it's there to help you get damage faster. I think that would be an interesting concept. I also, I don't know what that right price is though. I would, I obviously, I feel like you'd have to test it. Um, then I was looking at like Jug, how it's like retaliation deal bonus damage while health is low. I was thinking maybe, uh, like deal more damage at full health or deal as you deal damage, you take less damage. So like at full health, you're dealing more damage or like as you're shooting zombies, your damage reduction is increased. It doesn't increase over time. It just is decreased. So like a 10% decrease. So you're taking 90% of the damage while you're firing at enemies. Something like that. But then again, I, I don't really know. It also feels like that takes away from double tap being like increasing your damage and makes it more of like a juggernaut type of thing. Or like quick drive where it's more about health. And I think that's an interesting thing to take into account as well. You don't want to clash too much with ammo mods even at that. Ammo mods are field upgrades. Like Frenzy Guard and Healing Aura are all about armor and healing. So you don't really want to interfere with them. Arc Flare, Aether Shroud, and Energy Mine are all about damage. But they're field upgrades, so it's okay that you make a perk for your weapons. Maybe that you throw in something for your field upgrades damage or your ammo mods damage or something. There's something like you that you could do I think would be interesting. And there's a lot that they could do if they add double tap two or one even into this game. I hope it's one if they do add it. I would love them to add that increased fire rate alone. It feels like that would be so nice for high rounding with just like a base weapon instead of corner with the wonder weapon especially seen as they already nerfed high round strats with that manglers don't drop streaks and neither do other elites when they get eliminated by a score streak so that's a way they make high rounds harder but they're still not very hard i know that would make it easier to do it with like just increasing your weapons i don't know if it would make it too easy and there's already, you know, Deadshot and Juggernaut that you can make increase your damage in some way or another. Which is why I really don't think Double Tap is going to come into this game, unfortunately. But at the end of the day, we won't know until this game is done and dusted and they're moving on to COD 2025, which is more than likely a Treyarch game. It's been leaked that we're getting, like, the original four crew in old form back. Maybe that's when the double tap comes back. Maybe that's why it's in the code. Or maybe it is just leftover code. We don't really know right now. It's interesting. I want to throw out some opinions, some thoughts on what, you know, might be happening with this perk, what we might expect. And I thought it would be fun to think up a little. Maybe I'll make a video on meal kick if you guys enjoyed this one. Because meal kick is certainly coming in the game. I'm I'm 100% certain of that. But... If you enjoyed, leave a like, sub, and comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts. How would you make a dead shot? Sorry, not a dead shot. A double tap. Like, augment tree. Or do you not want uh, the, you know, perks from DLCs being augment perks? I don't know. Maybe that's your opinion. Maybe you want them to get rid of the whole augment system in general. I don't care. I don't judge. I want to know your opinion. I want to know your thoughts. I'll see you all in the next one. Deuces.